Hello, welcome to my channel. Firstly, I just want to say thanks to Quench Cycles for hosting the demo day and to White Bikes for the opportunity to ride their latest bikes. The first thing to say is that these trails are 10 miles long and there's not much elevation, so it's almost completely pointless having an e-bike for these trails. You're almost better off with a normal acoustic mountain bike. So it wasn't the best test for the e-bikes, but I gave it a good go anyway. A lot of the trail is kind of slightly downhill or flat, and when, you know you find yourself past the 15 mile an hour cut off. It was quite hard work keeping it above that for a long period of time. You know, sort of 18 mile an hour, you're starting to get a bit tired, um, sort of pushing 23 kilos along. So these trails weren't the best. So let's start with White's new E180. This is a 180 mil travel hardcore enduro bomber, basically, with the fourth gen Bosch motor and a 625 watt hour battery. I love the orange fox skull shot with the uh, grey paint job, I think it looks well good. There's hardly any drag from the motor after the cut off now which is good, you're just pushing the weight of the bike. The first climb up the fire road was fine, no problems there. Um, it's very capable up short techie climbs too, so that was good. Uh, the front end was amazing, they, you know, white must be saving the NHS thousands a year. I mean, the front end just, it wouldn't let go. I mean, in the end, I was trying to, you know, mucking about, trying to get it to let go, and it just would, the front tire would not lose grip, even in the mud and the rain, so it's amazing. Underneath the bottom bracket, there's cables that come down, and um, I was trying to find my way back, and I went sort of off the trail, and I got a stick caught in there which pulled on one of the cables and it basically stops the, the gears from working and that's on the first ever ride on that bike so you can imagine that is a weak point if it's happened on the first ride for me what's it going to be like if you've had it a few years it's going to happen to you if your local ride out or your main ride in is sort of climbing up 5,000 feet and bombing it down techie hardcore stuff and taking some big hits then this bike is just going to make sense shutting it up and bombing it down but if you're more of an all-rounder bit of XC, bit of bike park, bit of everything you're better off with the E150 White's new E150 RS has 150mm of travel it was 3 years of development to make this bike and they got it so right first time it's hard for me to not get too excited about this because it just blew me away. They've managed to make it feel like a normal mountain bike. You basically forget you're riding an e-mountain bike. The new fourth gen motor is a marked improvement over the old Bosch system. Motor drag past 50 mile per hour is greatly reduced, if not all, most completely gone. Past 15 mile an hour, you're only pedaling the weight of the bike. There's no drag anymore, or hardly any, compared to the old motor. This one also has a 625 watt hour battery. Again, what I have sorted the front end, the geometry is just unbelievable. It is simply amazing. It corners so well. I mean, it's the best e mountain bike I've ridden so far. I believe that the uh, noise from the motor as well, when you're climbing up, is reduced as well. I don't think they're as loud as the old ones, but I don't mind the sound of it whining anyway. But yeah, I think it's slightly quieter there than the old one, definitely. The only real problem I've got with the uh, white bikes is the colour. I did have a word with one of the guys, I said, when you see the CEO of white, just have a word, you know, try and get them to put some <laughs> brighter colours out, because they're all quite dark you know dark greys and blacks and dark blues i quite like the dark blue on this bike but could have done with like a brighter color but it's a, it's a small gripe really and a lot of people know this they are already sold out guys all sold out until february next year and you can only put a deposit down and i'm sure they're going to sell out again they're that good get a ride on one if you can so also, I tried the G170S 
from white and after riding the e-bikes it was quite a shock pedaling this traditional mountain bike up a hill but I soon got used to it and it wasn't too bad up the climbs after a while. The sense though of what this bike is all about and it was a real cracker. That white geometry meant the front end wasn't slipping anywhere in the rain and the mud like I've already said it is crazy. I wasn't sure on the handlebars though. I felt like the hun Hunchback and Notre Dame when I was in attack mode. It was kind of weird but I was riding a large even though I'm 5 foot 5. They didn't have a lot of bikes to go around so I had to get on what I could. But the, fight, the large did feel quite good considering my, I'm only 5 foot 5. But this was a 2019 bike, but the 2020 is pretty much the same. Just a, um, a rock shop lyric, red stickers and a few other bits and bobs. It's uh, two and a half thousand pounds, which I think is an absolute steal for this bike. It's got everything you need. It will do everything you want. It will do downhill. It will do bike parks. It will do XC. You wouldn't need another bike. I do really really like this bike and that's the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it why not check out my other videos they're top of the pops if you enjoyed this one and maybe subscribe thanks for watching